Good morning guys, it's Wade's here. A few of you in my Discord have been, has been, have been making fun of that, um, that intro. Uh, so, yeah, it's the NBA Top Shot Hour. It is 1 freaking AM. I did, uh, it's been a busy day today, so it is the 12th of March, 2021. Been a busy day. It's been a long day. Um, I do also play um, a little bit of recreational basketball, and we had a late game. So when you get through all that, and you come home at like eleven something, everything, everything sort of cascades down to fairly late. Um, but as you guys know, in this industry, there is no sleep. So I've been wanting to do one of those T-shirts where it says. Eat, sleep, top shot, repeat. Only this one will be eat, nap, top shot, repeat. So, um, the Bitcoins are just about 57000 up a little bit. Ethereum is about $1,812. On the top shot trade side, we are at about 10 mil for the last 24 hours. 10.2, so it's not too bad. On the top 15, in this case 18, I don't know who comes up with these lists, like who comes up with the top 18 list, seriously, come on, Crypto Slam. Uh, it's literally all dominated by crypto punks. so congratulations to those owners, uh, sell them while you can, I guess. Okay, so what today, what this episode is about is a a bit of a compliment um, to the first one, or I should say the last one really, where I talked about the emotion of uh, fear and greed. So it was timely because the market has been volatile and I think it got probably a lot more air time than it would have got because there was nothing else to do. So everyone was just sort of sitting around going, oh, fuck, wonder what's happening on YouTube. So look, I appreciate the positive feedback I've got a ton of feedback after that one Um, and in the back of that I did ask a lot of you guys what you'd like to hear me ramble about next so yeah this is my specialty 108 a.m. talking about NBA Top Shot Um, so that was more in line with introducing you know just for the new players because there's a lot of new players coming on every single day and god forbid should someone go back three weeks and watch some of the early videos that i made so i'm gonna have to remake them again but it is what it is um so basically you know talk about what to look for in top shot what season one why is it so valuable um you know why certain sets are worth more than the others because there's some that are you know printed to a lesser number but they're not worth as much so just make sense of stuff or at least you can talk me in a ramble about it so as you guys know me you don't need to send me two invitations i'm already here so that bit will come next time around because i do want to focus on that a little bit you know you could literally have an entire episode or show focusing on season one versus season two so I'll try to put some visuals up while we um, consume this ramble. So, again, I've I don't prepare a lot of, you know, for these sort of things. I just literally talk about what comes to mind. I have a couple of points on Word doc on the other side on, on the other screen, and um, testament to, to the not being prepared. Really, this these next couple of points just ran out the other episode. So. The other one, you know, talking about fear and greed and all that sort of stuff. This is more it ties in with that, but also will lead us on to that next episode. So this one's more about what you should, I suppose, be mindful of also when you start off with NBA Top Shot or on this journey um, in the NFT space and also NBA Top Shot more so. So education is the first point. Look, that's a big one. Um, like anything in life, I mentioned the other concept, 
uh, the more you learn, the more you earn. It's, it's quite straightforward. The more you become knowledgeable at something, the more you know you become an expert on that matter. And in more cases than not, you will earn a you know a higher wage or whatever it is, whatever is tied to that um, to that knowledge base, monetary wise. Um, so no different to here, guys. You know, this, this game is quite complex. And if you don't take the time to learn what's what, why certain things move, you will learn um, in another way. You'll learn through experience. And that, unfortunately, for some of you will come at a greater expense than spending time um, and learning through conventional means, you know, opening up a book, opening up Google, looking at the blog posts, and so forth. Um, I'm a fan of learning on the job, to be quite frank and um, you know for me coming you know from my own experience I wouldn't be in the position that I am now in terms of being in this NFT space if I wasn't curious about many different industries leading up to this I'm not going to take you through all the stuff but um, I will never understand why someone just goes through life and just becomes you know okay with the way things are I, I just don't get that um, expand your you know horizons that's I truly believe in that uh, I would not again I would not be in this position and you can call it whatever you want call, call it luck to, to have made a reasonable amount of at least paper profit from this from this uh, space but many of you are in the same position where you know you're sort of constantly learning constantly trying to figure out that's that entrepreneur in you that is not chasing the next thing but just willing to learn put the, put the time in put the grind into it um, to to be better off because at the end of the day I think about how many how, some of you how many things you've been through and how many things you've you know invested in learned about that has actually complimented and um, given you value in other things for, for me you know we used to I used to run some websites and gaming side um, various things like that so some successful some were just you know as a bit of a hobby uh, so all that now for me it feels like anyways come in to tie into this so like some of that experience has allowed me to give dapper a lot of feedback through the through the beta period which has put me in a position to be a moderator which has led to other things so you know don't discount you know learning the value that can bring and also learning on the job so in this space i think to learn on the job could, could be very costly because as you could see um you know one youtube clip will set you back almost ten thousand dollars so you don't want to click on the wrong link because that could be very costly uh, or you don't want to buy the wrong link so to the youtube channel to, to the youtube video so for that reason in this in this um context I, I probably tend to gravitate more toward the find out in theory why things and then maybe start investing a little bit of your hard, hard earned money on these moments and you know, also then learn on the job, excuse me. So, educate yourself. We will get to that. I will provide you lazy buggers with some content next time around. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I did want to get through this one quite quickly too, which is why I did it tonight. So maybe if I feel like in the next couple of days, I'll put something together. That one will have to have some research uh, put into it. So, you know, see, we'll see how I go. So, this next point is probably going to cost me some followers. I might go from 18 down to 15 again, but I kind of like it. It's going to cut out all. It's going to it's going to remove all the chauvinistic pig, chauvinistic pigs out from the um from the follower base. So I might get a few dislikes too. Uh, this this space is dominated by males, as you guys probably know. Um, so I am fairly high on equality and uh, where I'm going with this is you know, tell your partner 
that you're investing in this. So if you know if you haven't done so, don't be a dick and not share the you know the investment because I know I read some of the stuff like um if my only if I'm only if my partner knew about this or that like oh man that's just not the right space to be in um because you know that if you sort of hiding some of these things who am i to preach but i'm just giving my opinion because there is there is a point i'm trying to make if you just come in it's just not the right thing to do include your partner share the success share the journey with your partner um if you've been in this for a while there's a good chance you've made reasonable amount of money even if you've invested only 500 bucks uh, so i'm probably more coming from that point of view and i've had some really cool success stories about what some of the gains have meant to certain people and uh really it's just it's just very heartwarming to hear hear all that but coming back to telling your partner think about it who knows you the best it's it's the other side it's it's your partner like they know your strengths and more importantly in this case your weaknesses so for me some of the best decisions i've ever made were made by my wife so like when to get out of certain things and um she it was funny because someone actually shared a youtube clip tonight on my discord of rohan doing a ted talk a couple of years back and now she's like oh you know other than being very attractive, <laughs> she um, she's very keen on investing, you know, more so in the company and all that sort of stuff. So anyway, that's a bit of a side side joke. Um, <laughs> so tell your partner about it because they know you the best. They they'll give you that filter, that yin to your yang, and you know if you've made some money, they'll most likely tell you, you know, don't fuck around and sell something and you know take profit off the table. So look, it is a bit of a strange one to talk about, but I think it's an important one because whichever way you come from, if you've just started in this, uh, there, the upside is greater than downside because you don't want to get your ass kicked by a partner if, once they find out, especially in these times because there's a good chance you're going to invest money and it's going to go down because we are, you know, at one of the higher levels in this NBA Top Shot game and. We, no one knows where it's going to go so we know where it's going to go long term um, I'm again very bullish on this um, but in the short to medium term it's going to go up and down so don't be caught out um, if you don't tell them if you borrowed money if you're lever leveraged into it you're only going to be more stressed out uh, so I mean you know, that one's a little bit, a little bit strange to talk about, but again, I'd sort of come from being an advisor to many clients over the, you know, many years. The financial stresses and all that, especially if one's doing something the other one doesn't know about, can really come between people. So, don't be one of those couples. Take the long-term approach is the next one, next point. So, the angle I come from with this is if you take the long-term approach. It will smooth out literally it'll smooth out that volatility curve because you've just got more time on your side um, in, in my space when we profile clients from the investment point of view you take into account you know, where they've been and what the goals are how much money they've got to invest uh, where they want to go all that sort of stuff and then basically you pigeonhole them into a risk profile so the longer time frame you've got the more aggressive uh, the invested, you know, um, potentially can be because you've got time to ride out that volatility. So, and you still achieve your goals. Um, so, in this case, look, it'll it'll help you also be a better investor because you don't then tend to focus on some of the day to day movements um, as much. So, take the longer term approach. If you guys bought into this you know a lot of you probably do believe in the concept the story the company by now um and there's, there's just no point in worrying about the short-term volatility really like at the end of the day you see the growth in these i've mentioned this social proof and it's there's something 
you keep an eye on, your, on this yourself. Like, how many people come into this space and they go, oh, yeah, that's all right. I've been in it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I don't get it, but whatever. I put in a couple of grand. I, I, you guys are stupid <laughs> buying YouTube links. I can do, you know. So it, that doesn't really happen. Like, they come in, um, they put some money down, they experience it, and they go, oh, this is, this is unbelievable. I can't wait. And the biggest one is probably like, I can't wait till this come to, comes to my sport. So NFL or whatever it is. Uh, so, yeah, it's that social proof. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on just randoms coming to this space and what they think about this. You don't need to know anything more. Just take that's a bit of a heat check, a bit of a, you know, a gauge. So for that reason, I'm you know very bullish on this long term because proof has been in the pudding there. So the last point I wanted to make, and for me it's a big one, because it's the community side. It helps with the other with the other things too. So again, it ties into many points. But enjoy the community as much as you can as much as your time allows because this is by far and away the best community you probably are ever gonna have the privilege of being part of um for whatever reason many in this community are very giving of their time and resources you know many of us want to see everyone succeed uh which is a little bit of a it's you know it's not doesn't go hand in hand with with spaces where there's, you know, seven figure accounts and stuff like that. Usually people are, out, I mean, there's still, there's still many people in this that are out for themselves and you know, they, they don't give a fuck about you. They're just probably looking to dump whatever they've got to sell on you next. So, um, and you know, most of you know some of those, but many, like 99%, like, you know, good people that are looking to help out, have, you know, probably give more than they take. So take advantage of that. I mean, take advantage of enjoying that space. And um, because while I don't think this will end tomorrow, you never know what, what happens. So, you know, take the time to be part of it and um, enjoy it. One, uh, one thing I do have an issue with is when people come to me and like with my own discord there was only a couple of rules to getting in eventually when people got in i just said look just don't be a dick don't give my moderators stuff to do because you know they get paid they get paid high you know high amounts of money to not to do anything so i don't <laughs> they don't get paid anything um so i don't want to start paying them <laughs> to moderate the, the the chat um so the one thing I really, not hate, hate's a strong word, I don't hate it. It's just that when people come to me and go, well, and sorry, the other rule was like, don't be a dick and, and the other one was contribute. Now, to an extent, that's worked with my Discord. Uh, but like with anything, that 80-20 rule applies, like 80% of the content is provided by 20% of the members. Even in my own Discord, I'd like to have it increase because everyone has a story to tell and you can always gauge gain a little bit of wisdom a bit of knowledge from really anyone you meet like in my case i'm privileged to talk to many different people not just in this space but in my in my day-to-day -day life and selfishly i you know try to take something out of their own experience because at the end of the day you know, i talk about learning through experience like if you can learn through someone else's experience and some of their mistakes and you know get just to get to know how they would do whatever it is I'll take that lesson anytime. Um, same as this. Like, come in. Don't be shy to contribute. I get this quite a bit. Like, I'll probably come in. I won't say much because I don't know what I'm talking about. I guess fucking what? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Like, like I said to someone tonight, earlier, um, that's exactly what they said to me. You know, I, I probably won't say much. Well, like, that's not the point. Then you're taking someone else's spot. Then if you don't want to be part of it, then leave that spot to someone else because in my case it is a it is a limited capacity discord because of the you know certain reasons um no one knows what they're really talking about in the space it's so young that we're all making things up 
we all you know take um points from other life experiences but we all don't really fucking know what we're talking about so jump in there and, and, and contribute to this space and joy for what it is that's a bit of a ramble but I, I am quite big on that as you guys can see in the community side that's probably that's that's without the community this product and this space will be probably nothing so I don't know what it is but enjoy it while what's what lasts so on that probably like to end it um it's, it's relatively short compared to most of the shows um hopefully you've taken something out of it some of it, it's a little bit controversial but i think it's important to put it out there and, and have you guys thinking a little bit differently um on some of those points next one is going to be a little bit more detailed a little bit longer where i'll talk about that education piece um, about top shot what to look out for what to um what to know before you start really dumping serious money and and um we'll go from there hope you've enjoyed it uh, appreciate any feedback as usual good or bad different whatever um until then wade's out <laughs>